let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Jans Crossing, my name is Biene and today I have finally another Ice Jans order for you. And we got two plastic packages and a cardboard box and this time there are some new things in my shopping cart. So stay tuned and be curious. Unfortunately, my order arrived a little bit demolished this time, but well, it's easier for us to cut open the packages. So you always have to look on the bright side. I just hope that everything is all right with the yarn and let's get started then. Ooh, that's starting to look good. Oh, how cute. That's so nice. A little ice yarns calendar with the different types of yarns in it. Okay, <laughs> that gives you even more inspiration for your next order. Very sweet. Many thanks to ice yarns, but we'll put that aside now. It's all about the yarn. There's not much in here, just two different yarns. That was the first package. So there was another hole. Ah, found it. So we could just use our scissors here. And I'm telling you, it's gonna be fluffy. <laughs> and yes, I know it's very logical to order such fluffy yarn at the beginning of spring, but it just smiled at me and I couldn't help myself. It had to come with me. Oh, I like it very much. Just look at all the gorgeous colors. I think I'm in pastel heaven. That was the second package and we're moving on to the next one. Wow, I'm so looking forward to it. And the box already looks a little bit more colorful than the other ones. And yes, I already told you that I probably won't have enough yarn of Lampkin for my project. And now I have sat down and calculated everything and I came to the conclusion that a little bit more can't hurt. And we'll see what else is inside here in a close-up. Let's take our time and get started. As always, I'll show you all the yarn types in detail and we have some really great new yarns today. I was so taken with them. Let's start with Lorena Color. I wanted to try out the thinner yarns from Lorena because these are really much thinner than Lorena Worsted. Lorena Color consists of 50% cotton and 50% acrylic and we have a 100 gram ball here. So again, four balls per pack. And I always write the prices of ice yarn per pack above. So for four pieces in this case, 280 meter or 306 yards and a three to four millimeter needle is recommended. And it is marked as a two weight yarn. This is the color pink shades. And then I ordered lilac shades. I ordered two packs of pink shades because I probably want to make a nice cardigan or a nice poncho out of it. And then we have turquoise shades here. Blue, green, gray, and it also looks really, really pretty. And those colors look so great together. And I'm already looking forward to the upcoming projects and I'm really excited to see what kind of pattern will come out of it. You almost never know before. And there was no color gradient pattern on the homepage, so we'll just have to wait and see. In addition to that, I also got myself the Lorena type. Not Lorena Worsted, only Lorena. That would be much thinner than Lorena Worsted. And this yarn is available in many colors. It has the same composition as Lorena Color. And I'm going to show you that again up here. Everything is completely identical and I have now decided on a lilac tone and a white one. And I wanted to use the two plain colors or 
uni colors in combination with Lorena color. And we have the same color in here somewhere in this pattern, I think. Is it this one? No, not the same one. But I think this one. Yes, perfect. Exactly. That means you can make a cut while working with this yarn and then just continue working a bigger part with our lilac tone or our white tone. And I always find that totally exciting when you have such a possibility. And since there were not so many colors of Lorena left when I ordered it, I also ordered another kind. And it's called Alera. And there you have an incredible choice of colors again. So I had to pull myself together. <laughs> I think Alera feels a bit, how do you call it, a uh, coarser than Lorena. A little tougher. But it has the same composition as Lorena. We also have 50% cotton and 50% acrylic here. But Alera comes in a 50 gram ball. So we have 8 pieces per pack and we have 140 meter running length or 153 yards. And if we now only assume the run length and the contents, then we would have the identical run length with the 100 gram as with Lorena. But Lorena is described as a yarn weight 2, but Alera is described as a 3 weight yarn. And you can even see a minimal difference, I think. I think Alera is slightly thicker, but I think you could work these two yarns with each other. That shouldn't really be a problem. The recommended needle size is a 4mm, which is also within uh, Lorena's recommended range. And I ordered the colors white, grey and purple, which is a really beautiful shade of purple, but I don't think it's a classic purple to me. It looks more like an orchid shade and the feel of it is a little bit coarser than Lorena, but I'm curious to see how the yarn will look when it's worked up. Those of you who saw the last unboxing of my first Ice Yarns order already know this fuzzy monster here. <laughs> this one is Lampkin and I already ordered four packs last time. And oh my god, it is so soft. <laughs> Lampkin is 100% uh, microfiber and we have a 200 gram ball here. So you have two pieces of it per pack. And it has a run length of 100 meter or 109 yards. And the recommended needle size is a 8 to 10 millimeter. So the yarn weight is a 6 weight yarn. That's super bulky. And it's very thick and you can work on big projects very quickly with it. I had already ordered 4 of them and wanted to start already. But then I thought about it again and came to the conclusion that 4 packages will probably not be enough. So I had to add some more to the shopping cart. So today we had a reunion with our fuzzy monster here. And we continue with some more color. I ordered Baby Mix. And Baby Mix is made of 100% premium acrylic. It is a 100 gram ball and it feels really nice and soft. I like it a lot. We have 370 meter or 404 yards and here a 3 to 3.5 millimeter needle size is recommended and it's labeled as a two weight yarn. And don't ask me what got into me with the last order. I suddenly had such a desire to try out such color changing yarns. And that's why a few of these ended up in the shopping basket. It really looks like spring. And these are the so-called pink shades. We have also a little bit of lilac in here, light olive. I think this one is meant with that. Yes, I think that should probably be this light brown and then we also have white in the yarn gradient and then we also have these blue and green tones we also have a light gray in there it looks like a real sea breeze it really reminds me of the sea it's so beautiful and that was baby mix 
And then we come to an all-time classic. I ordered some more saver and in the color white. <laughs> so nothing special, but it was finally back in stock and I was waiting for the notifications message. And sometimes you have to be really quick. What I don't understand is that sometimes you get an email, hello, the following yarn is available again. There's exactly one package. <laughs> and you think to yourself, okay, thanks for the info, but I need more. <laughs> so now we have Saver in the color white here. And Saver is made of 100% Raylon acrylic. This is a more environmentally friendly production of acrylic and Raylon is the company name. So this is a 200 gram ball. That means we have two of these per pack and 330 meter or 360 yards and a five millimeter needle is recommended and it is a weight four yarn. And considering that it is an acrylic yarn, it has a really nice feel to it. Not as plasticky as you sometimes get with acrylics and it's super nice to work with. I've already started a few projects with it and you'll get updated, I promise. Not only here on YouTube, but also on Instagram. So I post there quite regularly, but you'll get an update sooner than I upload a whole video here on YouTube. <laughs> so that was Saver. And here again, for all those who didn't notice last time, Ice Yarns has a center pull for some varieties. It's very practical. You can work from the center out and then you don't have such a tangle of yarns in the middle. And I also ordered um, Cakes Baby Fine. And please look at these colors, so beautiful. They make you want to dive right in. <laughs> With these beautiful different shades of blue and this transition to gray and white. Yes, it feels very pleasant and soft. And it is made of 100% premium acrylic. So we have a 100 gram ball here and with Cakes Baby Fine you have three balls per package. So 300 gram in total. We have 360 meter per ball or 393 yards and the recommended needle size is a 3.5 to 4 millimeter. And I always tend to use a much bigger hook. So I think um, the recommended needle size is um, always for knitting needles and um, for the hook size you can probably use our five millimeter crochet hook I think. And it is described as a two weight yarn. And then I decided on these beautiful brown tones as well. Um, they so called brown shades. There's also another version. I think there's also a yellow in it, but as always, I link it to you in the description box below. So check that out. Then you can just click on the respective link and you'll have the right variety right in front of you. So that was Cakes Baby Fine. And then I got something else, but it was on sale. So unfortunately, I can't tell you if it's still in stock. This yarn is called Shine Superfine. <laughs> I think the name is just funny. And I ordered this yarn once in this dark beige and once in beige. And yes, it's a one weight yarn. So it's quite thin, but it feels like it's wrapped around. It feels a bit stable and it's made out of 75% acrylic and 25% polyamide and we have 50 gram balls here and you have a total of six per pack. I think you could use this as a hatched yarn. It has such a light sheen, so really exciting and I really like it. It's something different and I imagine lace work with it. Either a table runner or what I could also imagine very well would be a bag or something like that. It seems quite stable and that could then be really exciting, I think. And that was Shine Super Fine. <laughs> and then you've already seen fluffy monsters when we opened the packages, but I'm not talking about Lemkin now, but of Garzato Comfort. Look at this, take a look. It really feels like stroking a baby sheep. It's so fluffy, <laughs> but I'm kind of worried that I won't find the beginning here. 
<laughs> so I have to search for it. It's 77% acrylic, 21% polyamide and 2% elastane or elastan. So there's a bit of a stretch here and these are 50 gram balls with a run length of 450 meter running length or 492 yards. Wow, that's amazing. And a two or three millimeter needle is recommended. I have no idea what possessed me to order so many thin yarns this time. I don't know, but we will find out together. Maybe you have some ideas what to do with all the yarn and I'm always happy about your comments. We have the following colors here now. So that's dark cream, simply beautiful, I think. And this one is dark beige. And both of them look really, really nice. Somehow I imagine a super fluffy scarf or shawl or triangle or shawl with them. But I'll probably make it for the next winter. Then we have some other colors. We have this beautiful baby pink and it really looks very nice. A little bit of an old rosé. A little bit washed out, I think. And look how thin that is. Oh my god, what have I done? It's it's a touch of nothing and it's really, really, really soft. But you do get your hands a little sweaty. You can already feel the acrylic. But I think it will be great as a scarf. At least you'll be nice and warm in them. And then we have a few cooler tones. One here is gray, then we have a light gray. And I also ordered this gorgeous baby blue. <laughs> I couldn't get past them. I can't get past pastel shades at the moment. It doesn't work. They jump out at me and say, take me with you, please. And look at this combination. I'm freaking out. It looks so amazing. The combination has to be just so beautiful. Oh, I'm starting to dream. And then the top color combination looks also very brilliant. I'm so excited to see how the yarn will work. I'm a bit scared because it's so similar to mohair and me and mohair, or it's a love-hate relationship, I'm telling you. I'm so scared of making a mistake every time because it's just not possible to frog it up. The yarn always gets tangled up, so please write me some tips in the comments. But I'm so in love with this yarn here, it's just a dream. So Garzato Comfort, really, really beautiful. And I got myself some puzzle baby. <laughs> oh, it was finally back in stock. I have been waiting for it so much. And look at these colors, I'm freaking out. This is crazy, so beautiful and it makes you want to just dive right into summer. Warmth, summer, eating ice cream oh, into the cool water, but we're not there yet. But even if it's still a bit gray and gray here, we are simply making life colorful here. So Puzzle Baby is a 100% acrylic yarn and we have a 200 gram ball. And we have 610 meter or 667 yards and a three to four millimeter needle is recommended. And it's a two weight yarn. Here we have this beautiful pink tones with orange and it is called green on the homepage, but I really can't see any green here. More like a neon yellow. Everything very strong and bright and colorful and I like it very much. And in contrast to that, I ordered a few more delicate shades. It's called Lilac, Blue, Pink, White and Camel. So a Lilac I can see, Blue too of course, White is clear here, Pink is probably supposed to be this powdered shade here and Camel, well, I don't really think so now. Maybe as an undertone here a little bit worked in. I don't know, but it's really beautiful. 
And these are the two versions of Puzzle Baby that I ordered. That's it for the Ice Yarns order number two. I'm so happy. I'm still a bit stuck in winter, I think. <laughs> but we've already dared to look ahead to spring and summer and I'm so excited about the colors. If you have any questions, then write me in the comments. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and then I would say, keep your yarns crossing and have fun with your projects.